happy Friday, you guys. It's been a weird day in St. John's. Um, I'm home a little early, it's four o'clock, but I'm not staying, I got other errands to do. So I'm gonna go do all those errands. I just gotta run to Walmart, I think, but it's still half price Frappuccino time at Starbucks for happy hour. So I think I'm gonna scoot in there before I go to Walmart. Just went to Sobeys and got all my produce and everything, so that's done. Um, tonight when I come home, plan is to get a shower, get the housework done because the Blue Bloods finale is on and at some point make supper. Don't have any real plans for tonight. Um, tomorrow though, I'm going downtown to Johnny Ruth because Johnny Ruth is a new retailer for Indigena. So I thought I'd pop down and say hi because I haven't seen the Indigena girls in a while. And I think mom's going to come with me for a bit. I asked some of the YouTubers to come but everyone seems to be busy. Um, Aside from that though, tomorrow is shaping up to be a quiet day, which I think I need because Sunday is Mother's Day, so I have lots of things to do on Mother's Day. We have Mother's Day planned for mom, and aside from that, Outspeak is doing a um, Talk To Me campaign, which is about generations and like younger generations talking to older generations. So I thought it'd be cool to film a video with mom. So, <laughs> I'm going down to mom's a bit early and we're gonna shoot that video as well. So, we're gonna do that. I don't know when it's going live, but it will happen. Uh, but this week's been crazy. Like, this morning I woke up and I needed heat on in the car and you could see my breath, it was that cold. And now it's 15 degrees, but it looks like it's gonna pour. Thank you. Treat for the week. Say hi to the vlog. Hi, dog. Say hi, hi to the vlog. vlog. You guys, we have to go to Shoppers because the Alice to the Looking Glass goodies are in. Mom and I just walked the lake with Lady and Lola and now the dogs are home and we're at Jumping Bean. Guys, I'm home and I wanted to show you what I picked up this evening. I picked up um, the Crest 3D right, right, White Value Pack because it's significantly cheaper to buy three packs of toothpaste than it is to buy one. I got some Clean and Clear Acne Treatment again because I was running low on it. Picked up two nail polishes at Walmart for two bucks a piece. This is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. Again, I really like this formula and it's called White On. And I also picked up another shade called Royal Hue. Picked up some heat protectant. This is the Garnier Fructis one. Picked up Pepsi, not to drink because I'm not a big fan of soft drinks. It's actually to clean my toilet because I read on Pinterest that it cleans your toilet better than toilet bowl cleaner. So totally gonna give that a whirl and try that out. Then I went to Shoppers and I got some samples. This is the Elizabeth Arden Super Start uh, Skin Renewal Booster. So I'll give this a whirl. Jumpstart your day now. Okay. And then I got a Clinique eye treatment, got a sample of the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and then they also gave me a uh, Vichy, this is a sunscreen, I think. Yeah, it's a SPF 60 sunscreen. Cool beans. Not that we need that here. And um, then my L box came in the mail, so that's going to be doing an unboxing tomorrow, I hope, at some point. Um, and then I put my name on the wait list for the Urban Decay Alice to the Looking Glass. I wanted one lipstick and it was $21 and I had enough points to get $10 off. So I got it for 11 bucks, which was awesome. And I got the shade, Woo! sorry guys. I got the shade Mad Hatter. Oh my God, the packaging is to die for. Holy cannolis, I just had a heart attack. That is like the most beautifulistic thing I've ever seen. Holy crap, I don't think I own an Urban Decay lipstick. There's the swatch, holy crap. I think I will be wearing this to the Indigena event tomorrow. So keep watching the vlog for more wearable looks with this beauty. Holy crap, I'm like dying, I love it. Oh my God, beautiful, yay! I'm making nachos for the Blue Bloods and it is late, it's like 10.53. I have all the housework done and I'm going to do my nails now. So I will see you all in the am cool time because I'm getting up early if it kills me. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, you guys. It is 10.39 on a Saturday morning. I'm eating my breakfast and I'm gonna do my hair and makeup. I have to take a little out to pee and then I'm gonna film a video and go meet Mama Johnny Ruth. So yay for that. Sneaky peeky. Filming is done. Yay, Lola Bear decided to clean herself in the vlog. How attractive. You guys, we're headed to Johnny Ruth now for the Indigenous Mother's Day launch thing. I'm up. I don't think we're staying too long. We should go to Twisted Sister and stuff after. I just wanted to pop in and make a quick little appearance and say hi. Hi, I'm, Ma. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about going to Laura's Roller Derby thing tonight, you guys. I'm trying to find a friend to go with me because I don't want to go by myself and it's depressing. But you guys aren't even going to know about the Roller Derby because this video is going to be up after it because it's probably going to be footage of it because I'm probably going to end up going anyway. Um, but it is 
that's what it is. So we'll check back in when we get to Johnny Ruth. We're almost there. It's busy downtown today. Like, holy crap. Mommy has found the peanut child! Um, I think she's gonna go down to my mom's for an hour tonight, you guys, or two, because I think I'm gonna go to the roller derby game down at the Jackburn Arena. Um, Laura from, I think it's Island Girl Gorgeous, is playing, so I'm trying to get at least one friend to go with me. I'm waiting to hear back from William. He's tied up right now, he's watching his sister's kids, so she, he's waiting for her to get home. Um, doors open at 6.30, game starts at 7, so... I have supper in the oven right now, which it's a bit early for supper. It's only 4 o'clock, but I'm starving. Um, I want to show you what I got at the event. I picked up a new lip balm. Ooh, dropping things. Okay, this is the Indigenous Smooch Lip Balm. I loved this when it came in the pot originally. Um, funny story, guys. My camera battery, like, croaked on me while... As soon as I got, like, thank God I got all the shots I wanted to with Shiny Ruth. But, Lola, Mommy is vlogging, and you were interrupting. And you're like, Mom, I don't care about your lip balm. I want you to squeak my toy. Right? Is that what you're saying? Excuse my mess on the floor, you guys. There's two bras and a bathrobe. I, t I, get I thought my bathrobe was on the bed when I left, but I bet you Lola got up on the bed and put it on the floor to lie down on. Ready? Ready? Go get it. Into the bathroom she goes. And then my mom bought some stuff, too. Oh, there's my house key. <laughs> Oops. Again, dangerous, guys. I shouldn't be allowed out in public. Um... Lisa from Indigenous, am I holding the box right? Nope, because I'm an idiot. Um, Lisa from Indigenous brought me a little present because she knew I was coming. This is the um, Bikini Bay Bath Burst. Um, if you guys follow me on social, you know I've been chit-chatting about them for a while and I've been saying I'm gonna place an order and I'm gonna try this stuff. And of course, in true Amanda fashion, never got around to it. So, it's on my list. Actually, I have a note on my fridge of all the things I have to do and placing an Indigenous order was one of them. So this was going to be in my cart. How pretty is this? I'm so excited to take a bath with this tonight. So it's a bath bomb, pretty much. Like, oh my god. Okay, it smells like um, the Bikini Babe scent, which is, I'm pretty sure it's like orange and rose. So if I take a bath tonight after the roller derby, I will be throwing that in the tub and I will be doing a demo video of it. If not, I will take a demo video of it when I do use it and make sure to put it in a video for you guys. So, yay for that. Dinner's in the oven. <laughs> Gotta edit the unboxing I did this morning and hopefully Felton will be free to go to the derby. Right, Lola Bear? Say yes, Mom. We hope Uncle William is free. Yeah? Say we'll see you soon. Hi you guys, it is rant time. I know it's frustrating, but I don't care because I'm really frustrated and I need to share it with someone and you guys are the best outlet possible. Do you know what bothers me? I'm like Laura asked me to go out tonight, which is best kind, and I was like, I'll go, but I want to go with someone else because it's not like I'm going to be hanging with Laura because she's going to be on roller skates competing in the derby tonight. So obviously it's not Laura's fault she can't sit and talk to me. So obviously I don't want to be a weirdo sitting alone in an arena you know what I mean? Like, it's just a frustration thing. And so I messaged 12 people in total. 
Um, at least eight or nine of them, I'm sure, would have been interested in going. I swear to God, if anybody else asked them, they would have went. And I asked Liz from Liz Anderson, and she totally would have went, but she doesn't even get off work until close to eight o'clock. The derby's gonna be over. So, that is a viable excuse, and I accept it, and I'm not angry at Liz. Let the record show that, because we would have had a fun time if she wasn't at work. Which is cool, work happens, I get it. That one's fine, but all the other excuses are, oh no, I don't have any plans, I don't wanna go out, blah, blah, blah. And it bugs me because all of these people are gonna message me tomorrow and be like, we should do something, we should hang out. And it's like, I've given you like a billion trillion friggin' opportunities to hang out and it's always no. And if I have to be the one who has to go, um, and if I'm always the one, it's like every time I go out too, it's like everyone's like, I'll go, but you have to pick me up. Or whatever, and it's like, I get to everybody else's functions on my own. I don't have any issues and I get there. And if I say I'm gonna show up, I show up. It's frustrating. It's just like with this event now Thursday night, like this um, charity gig for the Fort Mac Fires. It's like, everyone's like, it's not my scene. It's not my scene. But then everyone on Facebook is like, oh, poor Fort McMurray, what can I do to help? Well, I gave you an option to help and you're not gonna help. So, <laughs> Like, oh, it's so frustrating. And it's like, I'm hoping mine, but all of these people are like, downtown bars are not my scene. And I'm like, but you're there every other weekend and you're loaded. So if you're gonna go get loaded, here's a thought. Why don't you go get loaded for a charity? Like, give me a break. It's just frustrating. And the other thing that bugs me too is pretty much anyone, like when I go out somewhere, everyone just expects me to pick up. Everyone just expects me to drop off. No one offers me gas money except for Alicia. And that's really frustrating. And it's different. When I go out with Alicia, she doesn't have her license. But at the end of the night, when the night is over, she always gives me gas money. I never ask. She just leaves it in the console. Like half the time I don't even see her put it there. That is how good about that she is because she appreciates it. But it's just, it's frustrating. Everyone's like, oh, I don't have a ride, or I can't get there, I can't get there. But yet they'll all message me and be like, I never see you, let's hang out. But why should I always have to be the driver? Why should I always have to be the pickup person? Everyone's like, just get new friends. What do you think I've been doing? You know, I'm trying so hard to meet new people and everyone is the same here. The only fun thing they do is get loaded. And it's like, if you can't remember what you did the night before the next morning, how is that even fun? So it's like, give me a break. It's like rant time YouTube style. And I'm super sorry about this rant, you guys, because it's not fair because I've enjoyed my weekend thus far and I have no issue with staying home. That's fine. It's fine to stay home, take a bath, edit a video, write a blog, watch a movie. But like, all of my friends are gonna be texting me all night going, I'm bored, I'm bored. And I'm like, I gave you an option to hang out and you said no. So stop telling me you're bored. Like, it's just frustrating and it makes it impossible. It's like, I swear to God, the only people that actually show up to plans anymore are like, mom. It's so frustrating. Like, I don't understand it. It's like, and I make plans like a week in advance with people and then they cancel last minute. And then if I just message them last minute to go out, they say, I need notice. So it's like, pick one, make up your mind and stop being stupid. And there's a lot of other things I wanna say, but it's not fair to you guys. It's not fair. It's like everyone else I know can randomly text friends and they all go out on a regular basis. What am I doing wrong? Just because I don't wanna get loaded, it's like, seriously, I'll go sit at a bar while other people are drinking, but I'm not gonna stay out till 3 a.m. Like, you know, it's like, give me a break. It's only 5.45 in the uh, evening and it's like I've, had, I've made supper hoping I was gonna be able to get out early, but, so much for that, like, you know? The only reliable person in my life right now is Lola. Like, it's so frustrating. And then everyone wonders why I'm angry sometimes. It's like, does anyone know how to work a calendar, look at a clock, or answer their phone? That's all I'm asking, it's easy tasks. Like, people are like, I don't know what people do during the day. It's like, well, 90% of my friends are too hungover to know what daytime looks like. And that's frustrating to me because I don't live that lifestyle and they do, and that's fine. They can do that every weekend if they want to. How they get the money to do it, I don't know. But I'm glad they're doing it. Like, but give me a break. It's like, don't message me and complain that you don't see me when you don't see the light of day. Like, it's just, it's annoying as all hell. I'm just as content as come, someone coming over and we having popcorn and watching a movie. Like, doesn't bother me. 
but it's just frustrating when people are jerks about the little things in life. Like, my God, don't turn around and complain to me. You don't see me. If you don't ever have intentions on seeing me, unless I'm your chauffeur. Like, ugh, what do you guys do with people like this? And you go crazy being alone for so long, so don't say you've cut everybody out because I've tried that. I've spent the winter with hardly any friends and that doesn't work either. So if you guys have any advice, on how to not lose your mind because of unreliable people, please leave them down below. And I hope I don't offend anyone. And I'd like to know that I'm not the only human being out there that has this issue. So please tell me I'm not crazy. I'd really appreciate it. Say friends, mommy had an angry rant. So now that the angry rant is over, we're gonna let off mommy's frustrations, aren't we? And we're gonna go to the park since we have no friends. Yeah, that a good plan? We're gonna go to the park. Go for a walk. We gotta put a sweater on because the temperature is getting kind of cold for you, okay? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so you guys, I think I'm gonna pretty much end the vlog myself here. I'm just gonna show you a couple of clips after I say bye because we're going for a walk, so I'll probably film a little bit. And um, tomorrow there's not too much happening. It's Mother's Day festivities, so go into mom's. I got our charms. I got our two charms. I got our mom charm and a grandma charm for her Camilla bracelet and I got a really nice card and um, dad's doing like a cooked roast. Other than that, there's nothing really going on. Follow me on Snapchat to see all my Mother's Day festivities that are happening because that will be where I post them. And when I come back home, I think I'm going to get a bath. So I'm gonna go for a walk with Lola Bear now and then get a nice hot bath and um, enjoy my evening alone with my child. So yeah, that'll be fun. So I'll just insert the clips after this. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the indigenous event this weekend and this hanging out with me by myself yet again. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I enjoy spending time with you guys. I am sorry for the little cheeky rant, but oh, I just get angry sometimes. And when you don't have any friends physically around you, you guys are a great outlet. So if you guys have any advice for me on how to bloody survive, having unreliable friends, please tell me down below. It would mean a lot. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Bye friends. Say I want to go for my walk now, friends. Bye friends.